a stunning breakthrough in the fight against Alzheimer's. Yeah, researchers have developed new blood tests that accurately diagnose the disease years in advance. CC News Now's Chris Flanagan spoke with a top Alzheimer's expert about how the new test could change treatment forever. Their conversation is in this week's What's Going Around. Mr. Rosenberg, how much of a game changer are these blood tests? Five years ago, if you'd asked me about blood tests for Alzheimer's, I would have said, tell me another joke. They just didn't work very well. But this is a whole new family of uh, methodologies. And uh, like I said, I think they're going to make it into the clinic soon. Right now, if you're paying out of pocket, you can get these tests done. So uh, they're, they're a real game changer. So Dr. Rosenberg, what is the blood test good for? So when you look at a new test, we always talk about the context of use. The test means different things uh, when you're using it in different ways. So if you have a person who's got memory problems who you think has Alzheimer's disease, tests like this are very good at confirming that it's Alzheimer's disease. And um, what's the advantage of confirming that? Well, for one thing, it, it's helpful for people to know what exactly it is. It gives them more, um, more uh, uh, security in the diagnosis, that we can hang your hat more on the diagnosis. But most important, the new drugs that have come out for, for Alzheimer's require that you prove there's amyloid in the brain. So although we're not quite there yet, I, will, I believe quite soon, a year, two years, something like that, we'll be doing these tests instead of the PET scans to confirm the presence of Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Rosenberg, what's the benefit of a blood test as opposed to brain scans or cognitive tests? If you're having memory problems, we would diagnose that with cognitive tests. If we want to know the cause of it, then we could do the blood test or the brain scans. And as I said before, um, if we find you're having memory problems and you have amyloid in your brain, it's pretty likely that you have Alzheimer's disease. And believe me, what's more important is the other way around. If you don't have amyloid in your brain, you probably don't have Alzheimer's disease. So the cognitive tests help diagnose what's really going on. The blood and uh, brain scans tell you something about the biologic cause. Dr. Rosenberg, great information. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it.